Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to take a look at the Hightail announcement trailer. So I've been through this announcement trailer a hundred times, and though there's a lot of content to cover here, I've decided to talk about some of the more interesting and detailed shots from the trailer. I'm hoping they'll tell us more about the world of Hightail. If you've not watched the trailer, the link is in the description below. I would suggest watching it before watching this video. So if you've not seen it, now's the time. This is the opening shot to the trailer, and the first thing I noticed was the class types. We have a mage, a warrior, and an archer. So we know of at least three class types. I'm sure we'll see more as Hytale's development continues. That being said, I noticed this loot over here, so we could have a bard class. We also have some classic life skills and RPG elements, like fire making, cooking, and possibly alchemy. This is our first look at farming within Hytale. I really appreciate how much work has went into this scene. It shows a little more of what Hytale has to offer. We have multiple crops, items, and materials to play with. It's really nice to see that we have a mixture of farming types like crops and livestock. I'm curious to see more about farming as it seems like a large part of the game. This room looks really interesting. We have an ink and quill, a stove, an alchemy table, a chest, a workbench, an anvil, and a forge. So it seems like we have a lot of skills and professions to experiment with. I also noticed this little cat here, so pets seem like a sure thing. This scene is shot at night during rainfall, so we can assume there's at least a day and night cycle, as well as a basic weather system. This is probably my favourite shot from the entire trailer. I'm a sucker for anything bioluminescent in nature. The moon and stars are clearly visible, and there's a deer and bear standing by a water source. It's a pretty sick shot. I really like the atmosphere effects on this scene, it makes the jungle look epic. I also noticed these guys over here, I have no idea what they are, but they seem to look like owl sloth people. They could actually be owl bears come to think of it. If you look close enough, you'll see a fishing rod arguing into the water, which seems like we're able to fish. The tree life looks great, I think those creatures are called Quebex or something, and based on the frogs, reeds and lilies I would say this is a swamp like area. I also remember reading somewhere that these creatures are one of the first races that you befriend. These next few shots show some of the creatures and biomes of Hytale. First we have a snowy biome with two polar bears. It's nice to say they have animations for walking and swimming, rather than just a walking animation in the water. And this canyon shot is so large you can easily miss some of the creatures scattered around the area. I noticed some vultures, ram, and a few antelope. It's really interesting to see how dramatically different the biomes are. Even just looking at the trees alone you can tell you're in a new area. Seeing a swarm as large as this, leads me to believe this may be an entrance to a dungeon or boss fight. It's also really nice to see monsters gathered to this scale and variety. It reminds me a lot of pre-legion Silithus from Warcraft. For me the combat looks great, it feels smooth and crisp, it reminds me a lot of the combat from Cube World, just a lot more advanced and polished. And from the looks of it you can fight in first or third person. I don't see any health bars or other UI on screen but then again, it might be disabled purely for this video. These next few shots show an evolution of construction. Though it shows us new materials and game objects, the thing that intrigues me most is the hot air balloon. I knew this game had ground mounts, but I didn't give the sky much thought. I wonder what other kind of mounts we'll have access to. On the topic of mounts, it looks like we have mounted combat. Though we have not seen anything more than the short video, it looks like it could be a feature in Hytale. The first time I saw this, I was caught off guard. I wasn't expecting to see remote islands like this. Now it's one of the things I'm most looking forward to. It could potentially open new elements to the game, like rare materials, unique animals and rare items, not to mention treasure hunting. We already know Salem exists, so it would be cool to see content like this related to island exploration. There's a lot going on in this shot, and one of the first things I noticed was how well designed and populated the ocean looks. It has everything, even Nemo, Maul and Dory, and Bloat. If you look a little closer, the character seems to be using diving equipment. I think that's a really smart move for Hytale, especially with all of the underwater content they have planned. And I can't move on without mentioning shipwrecks. They could potentially do a lot with shipwreck content, in a similar fashion to the island exploration. You could find unique and rare items, 
undead pirates and a ton of treasure, and of course treasure maps. I'm really looking forward to content like this in Hytale. And something worth mentioning here is the dungeons. Though they are somewhat procedurally generated, they aren't just some random holes in the ground. It looks like they've actually put a lot of effort into dungeon content. Personally, I would like to see some traps and puzzle solving content within these dungeons. And as the trailer goes on, it looks like this character is ambushed by these cave goblin creatures. I hope ambushing is part of the combat system in general. I think it would help keep the world alive. It's nice to see such a large variation of creatures and monsters in Hytale. What I specifically like about these shots is that it kind of shows you what abilities could exist in the world of Hytale, like fire damage and web traps. And again, the combat looks so fluid and clean. The magic attacks and special abilities look really nice. And now we're looking at some of the more unique features of Hytale. So the first thing we have is community servers. This will give everyone a chance to create their own server, with their own rules, and generally build a strong community around their world. Next up we have minigames. It makes sense for Hypixel to add them to Hytale, given their history. I think minigames can easily be some of the best content for players. It gives you a break from the larger world. I've spent hours in minigames, sometimes more than the actual game. I plan on doing the same in Hytale, this content looks amazing. And again, we have extensive modding, so this will fit really well with the minigames. I'm curious about this powerful tool section. I think it's basically a really advanced character creation system for monsters. It seems like you can animate texture and customize the creatures of Hytale to some extent. I'm not sure if you can model creatures from scratch, but I'd really like to know more about this feature. And next up we have epic adventures. I'm assuming this is related to quests. I've not seen much about quests, but I'm hoping that we have the ability to create custom quests like dailies, story base or world quests. That would be insane. I also thought the map was worth mentioning. I'll go into this in another video, but for now I'll just say this is a must for me. I'll be making a separate video for the character creation menu, but for now I thought it was worth mentioning that Hytale seems to have a lot of cosmetics, and since they are relatively simple to design, I'd imagine a lot more being added in time, perhaps even custom ones created by players. I think this ability to watch videos with the community is really fun. The only thing I'm worried about is how they'll handle copyright or inappropriate content. I think the idea is really cool, and it would definitely be a really interesting way to showcase content. I'm just curious how it's going to be handled. This is a much needed feature for anyone who plans on building a world in Hytale. Hypixel have designed this tool so that anyone can simply pick it up and use it, and personally I can't wait to see some of the designs that players will come up with. And now they'll be able to show them off in movie mode, combining every feature together and creating something amazing. And finally we have live scripting. I know a lot of people are very excited about this, and for most this may be a steep learning curve, but I think with support from the community, everyone in time will be able to use this. That's it for this announcement trailer breakdown. I'm really excited to play Hytale. It has a lot of interesting and powerful features to explore. There is no release date as of yet, but you can sign up for the beta. The link is in the description below. However, that's it for now. Tune in next week when we take a sneak peek at the character creation menu.